Hello everybody and welcome back to a new video. In today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to actually stream if you have a bad computer like a low-end PC. Stay tuned. If you want to support this channel and help different charities and different causes like the Melodic Karen Project and the Planned Parenthood Project, then all you have to do is basically head to the top of the description, you'll find an affiliate link. All you have to do is head to that link, download Streamlabs OBS and install it, log in and you got yourself the best streaming application used by Ninja and all of the famous streamers for absolutely free with actually helping charities and different causes. Alright guys, so in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to stream with a super low end PC. Alright, so if you have a bad CPU or a bad GPU or a bad amount of RAM or if you have them all, these settings could hopefully help you. So keep watching this video to the end because you're going to find it very, very helpful if you want to stream with a, with a super low end PC. And before we get into the tutorial, be sure to leave a like where you turn on today's video and with that being said, Let's get right into the tutorial. Okay, so the first thing that I have to do, I'm basically going to be using Streamlabs OBS, which is basically the better version of the normal OBS Studio. But still, if you want me to do a tutorial by the OBS Studio, I can totally do that. Just leave a comment in the comment section down below and I'll be sure to do that. And with that being said, let's get right into this tutorial. Okay, so the first thing that I have to do is obviously open up Streamlabs OBS and then all you have to do is go to this gear button right here that says settings. Click it with a left click and the first thing that I have to do is go to video, right? After that, go to the base canvas resolution and switch it and then switch the base resolution to 1280 by 720, which is basically a 720p. And also do the same thing with the output so it stays the same. After that, go to the downscale filter and put it on by cubic. After that, go with the common FPS values and then switch this to 30. And like that, we're done with the video tab. Now, all I have to do is move into the output tab now and then switch the output mode from simple to advanced. After that, go to the streaming tab. Make sure you're in the streaming tab. Select your audio track that you're streaming or recording with. I'm, I'm, I'm basically using the audio track number one, so I'm going to be using that. Okay, so now for the encoder, let me explain something. The encoder basically translates your video into like data that the stream understands. If you have like a good CPU but a not so great GPU, then, then I recommend sticking with a software X264. But if you have like a good NVIDIA like GPU, maybe like you have a GTX 750 Ti or any higher than that, then... I highly recommend sticking with this option. If you have an AMD GPU, this might say something else, but any other options, you stick with this option if you have a great GPU and not so great CPU. And if you have a good CPU and not so great GPU, then stick with the software option. So for now, let's keep it as software times 264. And now make sure you uncheck these two options, the Unforced Streaming Service Encoder settings and the Rescale Output. We do not need a Rescale Output because the output is the same resolution as the cam and we don't need to enforce it because this will only make the stream lag a bit. After that for the rate control keep it as CBR which is constant bitrate and then as for the bitrate I recommend sticking with 3000 and if your PC starts lagging out a bit all you have to do is like switch it back to 2500 and you're good to go so for now I'm gonna be keeping it at 3000. And for the keyframe interval, I'm going to be keeping it at zero because I'm not going to be using it. Okay, now for the important bit, which is the CPU user preset. Okay, so the higher you are over here, the less CPU you're going to use. So if you have a bad CPU, like a super, super bad CPU, like a Pentium dual core CPU, then go ahead and stick with like the highest you can go at is very fast. And that's what I recommend. But if you have like a decent CPU, like an i5 or something like that, then, then you can go ahead and keep it at first. But if your stream keeps lagging, then go ahead and select faster. And then if your stream lags again, just go ahead and put it on very fast. And I highly doubt it's going to lag at very fast. It's going to affect the quality just a little bit, but your stream is going to be watchable. So that's a plus. So I'm going to be keeping it myself at the very fast. As for the profile, go ahead and keep it at high because it's going to make it easier for mobile users to watch your stream. And with that being said, that's pretty much it. All you have to do now is click done and then your stream might be a bit bigger or a bit smaller. All you have to do is go to the sources 
go to your source right click it and then go to transform and then go stretch to fit screen and boom your stream now fits the screen and all you have to do is go live okay so this is how to stream the super low end pc if this video helped you in any way possible then be sure to leave a like rating on today's video if you have any questions at all then be sure to leave them in the comment section below help me reach 2000 subscribers by the end of this month and with that being said i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye